Hi guys, this is Mike Hibbert back with a Python Django tutorial for you. This time we're going to uh, discuss the, the the way to update um, records inside of the database using the the URLs, views, and um, models frameworks, so that we can uh, use Django to help us to update things. Now, last time we discussed how to use forms to do that sort of update and and how to create. Um, things in the database but this time we're going to take a, a more nuts and bolts approach to it so that we can see how we can implement something like a like button or a like link on uh, on our articles pages <clears throat> now previously we've been displaying uh, our articles in a list like this um, and inside of there you can click through and see the view now what we're going to do is we're going to add somewhere around here um, a count of how many people liked this article and also a link so that people can uh, click and add their like to the uh, to the article and at the same time as that we're going to also have a summary of how many people like the articles on this main list page here um, now to do that um, we're just going to basically create a URL that allows us to take in the ID of each of these articles when the, the like button is clicked or the like link and then we're going to update that specific record and add one more to the list or the to the column of likes inside of our database so the first thing we need to do is we need to create um, an extra piece of HTML inside of our templates that we built way back when when we first created the, the covered the templates um, for our articles pages so all we're going to do literally is with the article page which is this page here this page here we're gonna go in and we're gonna add a couple of lines first one being a paragraph tag containing the embedded ver ver value of this article's likes count and the words people liked this article so it's going to read something like you know 10 people like this article 20 people like this article and also we're going to add in a link now i'm using a hyperlink here you could use a submit button if you wanted to or you know you can you could probably put some css onto this and style it so that it it looks like a button um, <clears throat> but all this literally does is puts an, uh, an, a, a link onto the page with the article's ID embedded in a URL that goes through to articles like with the ID and then that will call our view called like article and it'll update the record and then pass us back to this this main page here this main page here now before we go and define that, I'm just going to save that page and show you something that you may not may may or may not know about Django, is that when you edit templates, you don't necessarily have to restart your server. So that only applies to templates, though. If I updated Python code or anything like that, I'd definitely have to do a restart because the code would have to be recompiled. But the templates is not always the case. In fact, it's very rarely the case. All you need to do is just click refresh and anything that you've added into the template will be rendered as well. So you can see that just by clicking refresh and I haven't had to restart the server, I've now got these two extra lines. So let's go back to this main page and I'll show you how to do the other change which is on the articles page we're literally going to just line add one more line here and it's just basically what we've cut and pasted from our other view saying zero or ten or something people liked this article and then if we just click the refresh on here you can see there it's, uh, it's already added that extra in there so you don't have to necessarily change things uh, or restart your server every time you change a template that isn't the case with code so what we're going to have to do next actually will stop and make us need to stop the server so that we can make the changes so I'm just going to stop that server whilst we make these changes 
and then I'm going to go over to the URLs section. And we're going to add one more line to the URLs for this articles URLs uh, .py file. So that's the articles, the URL uh, URLs .py file inside of this articles folder. So not the main site one, but the one that's actually inside of our articles app that we've been building throughout the series. So we'll go into there, add one line, and we're going to make it very similar to this line above. Notice we've already got a line that says get, and then it passes in a parameter called article ID. Now, if we show that what that does, it passes it through to this article view handler and it passes it through as that variable. So we want to do the same in the case of our our uh, like URL so that we can just basically have that nice and conveniently passed through as a variable that we can use to update a record. So the way that we do that is more or less to just copy what we said there and change a few things. So instead of saying get, we're gonna say like, and we're gonna leave this part exactly the same because that's the same matching um, pattern that will help us to pass through article underscore ID as a variable. And the second thing that we're going to change is just the view name that we're passing everything through to. We're going to say our view this time is going to be called like article and not article in this case. So that's that done. The next bit is basically about us making the view. Now, there's a number of things that we're going to use in the view that we need to think about first of all, but fortunately, because we've been doing this sort of thing before in previous tutorials, we've already imported our articles model from the article models file. And we've also already imported HTTP response redirect because what we're going to do is we're going to save our, our article after updating its record for the likes, and then we're just going to redirect back to the page and that should then show that when we click the like button there's an increase in the number of likes and it'll, it should be almost instant so we don't need to actually import anything this time because we've already done so so what we're going to do is we're going to just write our view so the first line obviously is to define what the uh, the view function actually does and we have a request as usual which is every function every view function needs a request and the the addition of our article id the next line is saying that if article id has something in there another in another in other words um this has come from a valid url from the website and not somebody just messing about and putting any old rubbish in there if there's something in there that's worth dealing with, use the article model to go and get an article that might match that ID and return it into our variable A. And if there's nothing found, then nothing will happen. And if there is, then we should get a valid article to, to, to edit. So the next bit is just basically to do the editing. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a bit of a long-winded way to do this, and you probably wouldn't do this in your own um, your own code because it's you, you know there are shorter ways to, to to write this, but this is the way I did it to explain the process. So we we take the number of likes out of there and put it in count. Then we add one to count, and then we take count and put it back into likes so that we have the likes incremented by one. Long-winded, I know, but just for the sake of making it plain and easy to see what I'm attempting to do. Just for anybody who's a bit newer to Python. So the next line is to use the, the very hard to remember save method, which um, hopefully should be on the tip of your tongue every time you think about saving a record using Django's models. You just basically save it. There's no special um, function names or anything like that it's just save easy to remember so if that's worked then all we do is use our HTTP response redirect 
back to the articles get page which we came from including the ID of the article that we've just edited so that we can just look at that page again and we should then see that the article has been updated and then the likes or the number of likes has increased now it's worth noticing that you know, if this was a proper uh, social website there would be a bit more involved in increasing the amount of likes for instance you would probably record who liked it you probably record that whether they've liked it before or not um, you would only allow them to increment by one you'd probably check IP addresses to make sure that somebody isn't abusing the system from the same IP address and logging in multiple times just to get like counts up there's all sorts of other things that you would do but for the very basics of this this is this is where we've left it we've just kept it kept it simple just so that you can get the idea okay so with that we should now just restart the server just run it and then if we give that a refresh for no apparent reason um, <clears throat> we'll see that there's already three likes on this there are no likes on this let's click through and put some likes on there and see what happens so no likes and there you see it's incre incremented by one try again incremented by two and you could do that all day long like I say, you should really be checking to see if somebody has already logged in and liked this and stop them from being able to like an article more than once and do various other checks. But there you go. On our summary page, we can now see that the, like, the number of likes has increased for this article also. So now we can now see that it's worked. So that's how you update records. It's simply by trying to find them in the database and then updating various parts of the actual um, instance of the class and then finally call and save just to update that information okay right well that's the end of this tutorial I hope that was uh, informative for you um, if you if you found this of benefit please click the like button and if you want to know more about the Django tutorials when they are when they are published, then please uh, click the subscribe button, and you'll get notified as soon as there's more available for you to watch. Thanks for watching.